Good morning. So uh, today, continuing with um, my work to rebuild Snippet Pixie with uh, Go. So um, let's get Go land up. See where we were yesterday. Interesting. Why is that doing that now? Hmm. Something's changed. Different color there now. Um right. Uh so yeah, why did I not commit? Uh, awesome. Can't remember now. That looks okay. It's doing the basics. Uh, I must have just forgot to commit. Ah. Interesting. I can't even remember what I was doing yesterday then to why why did I get that? Oh of course. Right, okay. That's because we're generating yeah on the fly. That's the issue. I'm not actually saving it yet. Because it's all hard coded, uh, and that's the point of today's work. I need to start building out so that we actually can save, create and save a new snippet, um, and then obviously get it back. Um, so, gonna need some sort of database for that. And for Snippet Pixie, all we need is a SQLite database. It's not holding a lot of data and it only needs to be local to the user, single user stuff. So what we're going to do here, I think what we need is we need the manager to store a reference to a database so it can just be used through all the functions, um, which means that we need to set it at some point. We need to create and set it outside of the library. Then the manager gets the reference. Does it need to bring up? Uh, like it's going to need to create tables. What tables we're going to have to use? We're going to have to use settings. Yeah, we only need settings and snippets. That's all we got. So Sitting should just have, at the moment, a schema version. Um, so we'll be able to set that to what we need. And at some point we're going to need to put in some migration stuff as well. 
for when we actually start to ready this for live usage so that we can go from 150 to whatever we're going to do. And then we've got snippets. Again, that's going to change I'm going from ID integer to a text field as such. I guess I could use varchar to pretend it's something else. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's think, what did I do for... I haven't used SQLite in Go yet, so... We're going to need a package. It's going to need to be SQLite 3. Okay, let's get into why is it talking about extensions so quickly? Okay, All right. uh, we got probably want types. Open. Okay, so I can use a, just a file name and in memory. That'll be handy for tests. That's just the DSN. That's right, so let's just check. Um, da -da -da -da. Database SQL. Yeah. Driver name. Presumably that's SQLite three. There's no mention on that. I haven't seen any examples. Oh, examples. Simple. Okay, just SQLite 3. Okay. Usual stuff. We've got an exec. We can do a begin. We can do a prepare. We can close, obviously, and close the database straight after. In the defer transactions commit. So, where's the transaction stock there then? It's just a begin, isn't it? So, as you, oh yeah, I remember all this stuff when I was working with um, Postgres SQL driver, but connecting to Cult Quote. So, that's fine. And then rows can do a scan. Okay, 
usual stuff. Good. All right. Um, so, uh, let's is it mentioned there? Just mapped N N mapped with an N. Okay. Let's do that then. Taking its time. Okay. So I'm going to be importing just that. Tidy these up. Separate that out. I guess that's because it's not been used yet. Unused. Good. Okay. Um, oh, actually, that's in the wrong place. Don't need to do that there. I need it to be done here. Let's take it. Okay, so. Right, that's prep work. I don't know even know why I'm doing that yet. We haven't even got the set up here. Right, um, okay. That should actually have an M as well. For manager. And in here we're gonna need Database, yeah. Hmm. think okay I think what we're gonna need is we're gonna need like a well we could either do it automatically with an init we could basically we need to instantiate a manager um at the moment we're doing it manually here Kind of feels like we should be getting one, letting it 
do it bring up. So it might need to say, oh, hold on a second. There's no, there is no database file. Let's create it. Let's create the tables and so on. Or do any kind of testing and upgrades of schema. So we need to give give it a chance to do that. So let's do let's create a function then. Oh, okay. Before I forget, db. Um, which is what SQL yeah. we're going to need that and now we need to We need to have a new new manager. Let's do that. Okay. So we're going to need a DB. And we might return. So we're going to return a reference to manager in error. And all, all we need to do right now for this quick test. Um, all we need to do is just return manager the DB. Why is that complaining? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oops. Winter. Oi. What happened? Um and now why is that complaining? Cannot use DB. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got to be a reference to. Oh. All right. Okay. It's not something you need to do day in, day out when you're using PHP. Um, so. 
so we now have something which does the bare minimum of creating a new manager. That's not useful at all though. I'm not even going to be able to test that really because we already have failing tests. Um, so I do need to do a bit more. Um, so how do I test whether we've got any tables and stuff? And is there a connected? Or something like that. Ping. I wonder what type of error it might return. I guess we'll find out. And then we want to do some databasey stuff now. So we need to um, in theory um, check for settings table we also need to um That's it, isn't it? Effectively. Okay. 
Right, yeah, and the schema version is just an integer. Coming from the text field, though. Okay. So do I need to be careful about that? Let's see. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to have to do... Schema version... zero and then we're gonna do All right let's do the bare minimum so Do we want to do this as, we just want to do this as a bunch of if statements, don't we? Um, we can refactor this out into a different, different function then later, but for this one, <clears throat> if schema version is less than, well, Oh, actually, good point. We need a schema version. We want an expected schema version and the current schema version. So let's say where should we store that then? Maybe up here. Kind of want it modular level to say, right, this is what we're currently at. So can I just do this? Uh, we're on 150 in the moment. Let's do 160 for the time being. And then schema version and to do thank you very much I'll do that why are you complaining type can be omitted well sure but you weren't saying that before okay okay Right, if schema version is less than blah, now we need to actually do some stuff. So, um, We 
which is always going to be at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so we need to do databasey stuff. So got a database. Just going to create tables. Yeah. Yeah. Great table settings. Setting key. Can we see? Yeah, not now. And unique as well. Okay. I want that as well. So we could take that and do the quick and easy on that one. So text. Oop. Not no. And then take that as well. Probably should put a comma in there somewhere. So it's just equals db dot exec SQL. Oh, good point. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, probably shouldn't call that SQL because that's going to get a bit confusing. Um, query. Um, if. Uh, start now. Yeah, bail. Usual stuff, I guess. Uh, 
And why is that all complaining then? Dink. Now we're basically going to do similar again. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Why are these complaining then? Yeah, I know that. Yes, I know that. That's fine. version, isn't it? Oops. Schema version Generic SQL. Huh. Uh, global is going to be, well, no, it is the project. It's SQLite. And we'll just force this as well, just so it knows. Um, <laughs> why did I put table there? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, maybe I need a little bit more coffee today. We do have a time. Okay, got about 10 minutes or so. I'm not going to get as far as I hoped. A um, bit too much investigation at the beginning. But anyway, so we have, okay, we're going to create that schema. We're going to create settings. We now need to execute it. And now we're going to pass in our schema version. Hopefully we don't get any errors. And then we're going to do basically all that again. But 
for snippets. Now this is where things get a little bit different. Because at the moment, we have an integer there, but we're going to change that up. Why didn't I use primary key on that? Interesting. might do that this time. If I can do that. We'll see. Okay, so here we're going to be all right because we're going to do ID. And I think I'm not null in all of them. Set for timestamp. Create table snippets. And we need some commas. Once upon a time, I used to always put the commas at the beginning. So you never lost, because you always knew it was there, 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 there. Uh, maybe I should. Kind of works. There. They all line up. Um, okay, so that looks okay, I think. And in theory, we'll get a database out of that. Oh, sorry, tables out of that. Um, and now we need to... Ding, ding, ding. Can return a new manager which really has a database connection all set with a thingy doing the do got schema version 160 on it no matter what because we haven't done any upgrade stuff yet Okay. 
have we got here? We are instantly a schema version, which is good. We can skip any later upgrades. So done. Full stop. No more to read. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be something wrong with this, but it looks okay at the moment. And let's um. Don't need that anymore. So now we need to do. New manager, returning a manager instead of doing the hard Cody thing. So manager. Interesting. It's the wrong thing, isn't it? Snip. Oh, I don't. I'm in the same package. I don't need to. It's fine. Okay. New manager. Pass me in the database, which we don't have yet. So I'm going to do. the format again. Let's now open Oh look, copy paste. That'll do. Where's that? Ah, so I do I not need to no, don't need to specify the driver. Fine. Okay, now here, in this test, we're going to just do memory. Because we really don't want to write it out just yet. This kind of bit occurred here. Oh, stand up soon. Um, this bit of code is going to have to happen in like the actual applications. Um, so we're going to end up needing to do this in, in theory, just the daemon process. And then the CLI and GUI will talk to the daemon. So that's the plan anyway. Um, so, okay, wait, so we have a database. Um, I'm going to defer close. I pass in the manager, get a manager. One, two, three.
Well, I don't really want a log fatal there. I want to... Do that. Why don't I go way down there? Yeah. Same here. And then... Create snippet. I'm going to be doing the same thing here. Well, in theory, yeah, okay, that's why I didn't do that test there. Um, because we're testing up here. But I guess just for safety, we should probably should. Yeah, I'll just do that there, just in case. Right, so DB, DB players, blah, 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 do the manager, do the create snippet, get abbreviation, dun, dun, dun. Here, here we're just testing create snippet. So we're going to do a create snippet. We're not going to get any errors, hopefully. And then we're going to check that the abbreviation matches. So now we actually need to do it. Um, well, actually, in theory, this should be a failing test that doesn't have compile time errors. So we've got open a database, creating a new manager, creating a snippet which happens to be hard coded. just generate its own ID and do that. It's not storing it yet. And then get snippet by abbreviation. Again, creates its own version of the UUID and returns a hard coded one. So that's going to fail. But in theory, It should be failing in the same places, i.e. only here. Yeah. Let's give it a go. So it should fail only on 43. Hmm. I thought I had the import. And then it went away. Why it went away, eh? Okay. 44 now, yep. So that's what I expected. Good. 
OK. So now we need to actually do the thing. So create a snippet. We've got an abbreviation and body. We're going to create the UUID. Um, now we need to go um, um, do it in a transaction. Yeah. Begin. Okay, I don't want to lock that now. I want to return yeah, do for the moment um and same here otherwise Is it does it come in practice to defer No, you have to wait. I'm preparing it there. That's interesting. Okay. Let's do um, actually uh, should I that's going to close. Then it's, yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah. We're going to do. Why is that not? going to be insert into snippets um and body values. I'm going to see if I can get away with dollar one dollar two. Um, this might be a mistake. 
but we'll give it a go. Might need to switch to those uh, question marks. But I prefer if I could do dollar one, dollar two throughout as a standard thing. I did. Oh. Good point. I need to I need to pass in an ID. And I do need to do that. And of course, I need to pass in the ID because I'm generating it. Okay. Why are you complaining? Me. That really is a log fatal position though, isn't it? If that doesn't work, we're in trouble. But Otherwise, we're going to construct a snippet with the ID, the abbreviation, the body, um, and we don't care about last used at the moment. We're done. Okay. Now we need to do a get. I've run out of time, haven't I? Ah, oops. Okay, I need to go. Um, I'm late. Uh, so. Okay, so tomorrow um, I need to get the snippet. Okay. Do that tomorrow. Okay, um, so thanks for watching. Um, until next time, uh, you take care.